Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so pleased you joined us. Welcome. I'm doing a little bit of a sort of day in the life today. As you know, my dog's been sick. Um, he had a spinal injury and he's been on medicine. He's been very, very poorly. He's been in a lot of pain. We're having a good day today. Okay, he injured himself on Wednesday the other week. If you don't know, he went to jump onto our bed and he seemed to not be able to use his back legs very well while he was trying to jump onto the bed, missed and then fell on his back. And then he, he was very reluctant to try again, to even walk. And so we took him straight into the emergency vets. They presumed he had slipped a disc. Um, after a lot of testing, there was no slipped disc found, but they told us that he had misplaced the fluid in his spine after the trauma. Apparently the fluid had gone out into like a bubble out the side of his back, hit a nerve and injured him. So he went through a lot of tests, a lot of rigmarole, fluid, um, dive through the spinal fluid, um, ECGs, whatever else he had. And yep, he's came home with a lot of pain medication, um, a follow up in two weeks time, and then another four weeks time, possible physio. He got, so we've been waiting for him to pee since, so when he left the hospital, it took two days for him to pee. I did call them in between to say, is this normal, he's not peeing? And they said, bring him in in another day. If he doesn't pee, we'll have to manually help him. He did. And then it was another few days after that. So last night we were a bit worried because he hadn't peed again. This morning, he had peed in his crate, which is amazing. We were so happy. And today, he started trying to walk around. I mean, he still drags his back legs a little bit, but he can move them slightly, which is such an improvement. So yeah, he's, he's basically more or less been sitting in his pudding and in his little crate, watched 24 seven. So we've been watching him constantly, 24 seven, to make sure he's all right. Um, I'm planning on getting my nails done today, but I don't want to leave him. Um, so what I'm going to do is put him in his little crate and take him with me and hopefully they'll be all right with that. Um, if not, I might get it done because I'm off on Wednesday um, because we're going on the cruise. So we're going on the cruise this week. Oof. We are going. Um, we're hoping to book him in with the veterinary surgeons. It's at, at their discretion if they take dogs in for boarding um, to be fully looked after. And the surgeon said at the time he could do it. So we've rang them. We're fingers crossed that he's going to tell us it's all right. But um, yeah, the cruise is on. It's, it, well, it's this week. So I may or may not get my nails done today, depending on whether they allow me to take the dog in. But yeah, I need to clean his crate because it's, yeah, he's got puppy pads and the puppy pads soaked and I'm going to clean it out to make sure it's clean enough. And then we'll head out. I'll take him with me. Um, I need to post some stuff. I've promised you guys a couple of items. Somebody won the, the handbag and somebody else won the um, chocolate frog. And because of all the madness, I haven't been able to get to the post office. So I'm going to do that today. But I'm going to take Baxter with me. Are you just getting comfy? Are you saying hello? 
Say hello, everybody. I feel a lot better today. I do. I still can't walk very well. And I can't pee standing up. I have to lie down. <laughs> so we're going to try again today going for a walk in the pram. And then I'll put him down every so often for a little, a little walk near the trees. Aha, baby. So that's the plan. I'll take him out in his pram to the post office. Um, get those things posted out. Oh, look. Were you trying to walk? Hey? Were you trying to walk? You did very well. He's not supposed to do anything... Whoops, careful. He's not supposed to do anything rigorous, like running or jumping, but I'm sure he wouldn't even attempt it, to be honest. He can only walk to here. Um... But it's good that he can actually sort of walk. Wobbly walk, but he walks. So good. So the house is an absolute disgrace because ordinarily... Oh, I was too slow there. I was going to show you him walking. Um, wobbly walking. But um, yeah, ordinarily, I would have kept on top of the house. But through all the madness... It's just gotten worse and worse and worse. So I'm off work on, I'm in tomorrow, which is Tuesday, and then I'm off from Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I'm gonna try and get on top of this house because it's just an absolute disgrace. And obviously we need to constantly be watching Baxter so we can't just go vacuuming and things. Unless I put him in his pram and walked him around the house with me, which is probably quite a good idea, really. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. So we'll take him out. I'll try and get my nails done if they allow it and um i will take you in your pram that would be a better better thing than than the crate he's um really wanting to walk today you're really wanting to walk today aren't you should mommy get you out and see what happens they have advised that we can do that so it is okay with the vet if we do take him out just very short walks. Should we try that? Let's see what. Let's see if you can manage to have a walk. Let's get the pram. Um, how am I going to do this? I'll go and get the pram, and we'll put you in there, and we'll see if you can go for a little walk. So here he is in his little pram. <laughs> He's so cute. So it's got these little straps that you kind of clip to the harness. So that he doesn't jump out. I'm sure he wouldn't try and jump out at the moment, though. <laughs> so I'll put your little lead there. And let's take a little stroll and see how you manage. Should we? Come on, then. So we put some little Christmas things out yesterday. I put this little wreath on the door. Elliot wrapped the post box in ribbon. <laughs> and we put a little Christmas street sign and some little characters light up characters down there and also i hung some lights so at night it looks very very pretty doesn't it obviously i haven't managed to do a house tour yet i have got a christmas tree up and a lot of christmasy stuff but um yeah i'll have to show you guys properly once Baxter's all better, um, we'll do like a house tour. Let's, whoopsie, and let's get down the step. There we go. Hey. So we'll see how well he does walking and peeing. He hasn't been able to yet, and he hasn't pooped since he was in the hospital. So. We'll see how we go.
Maybe don't eat the grass, darling. Maybe don't eat the grass. Come on. Maybe don't eat the grass. Wow. Dear me, look at him go. Oh dear. Are you losing your legs? Oh dear. Wow. You wanna walk a bit more? Do you wanna carry? You wanna go wee wees? Oh, he's really doing so well. Look. Oh my goodness. He's actually peeing. Did you manage a little bit? Sorry for showing you my dog Peyton, but this is just amazing. He's actually walking. Wow, <laughs> I need to send this video to your daddy. He's gonna be so happy. Nelly. Oh, wow. Honestly guys, this makes me so happy watching him walking. <gasps> He's very, very wobbly. But he's actually managing. Wanna go in your pram now? I think this is a long walk. This is a long, long walk. I think you need to go in your pram now. Try again. Nearly. <laughs> oh my goodness, Baxter, you can't run, darling. Come here. <laughs> oh, this is a good day. This is a really good day. I'm gonna go in your pram now. That was awesome. Well done. Well done, darling. Wow. Guys, I am so proud of him. Well done, my darling. Well done. Oh, so happy. Oh, that was just so good. I'm so proud of him. He actually managed to poop as well. Can you believe it? He managed to poop. Oh, I'm so proud of him. I really am. Such a good lad. Wow. As you can see, like he's walking wobbly, like his back legs kind of go inwards and they wobble around, but he's getting his strength back, which is amazing. I am so proud of him. He's such a good boy. What you doing? I didn't notice you went anywhere. Where you going? Careful, honey. That's a good lad. You just want to explore, don't you? I've took his pain patch off now. They said that we could take it off um, yesterday, but it wasn't really budging very well. But I've managed to get it off today. So that's good, isn't it? What a relief, eh? What a relief. So, since he's peed and he's pooed and he's feeling a lot better today, I've decided... While I'm out, I'm going to leave him in his little crate with some dog TV. <laughs> you find that on YouTube, dog TV. It's pretty good. Um, and he's got the fan on in case he gets too hot. And he should be fine because I've took his pain patch off so he can't lick that. That was, that was my biggest concern about leaving him on his own. Um, but obviously I'm not going to let him have the roam of the house. He's just going to be in his little crate. And I'm not going to be gone for very long, so he, he'll be okay. Bye, darling. Bye, baby. Love you. <laughs> right.
Right, let's head out and get some jobs done because I need to do some jobs. It's hard when you've been confined to the house. Obviously, I was willing to do it because he's my dog and I love him a bit. But it's hard when you can't get any jobs done because you just I've just basically been sitting, sitting with him, watching him. So yeah, I need to. It does help if I bring the actual stuff with me, doesn't it? That I need posting. I lose my head, honestly. I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. Right, that's the stuff posted. I'm sorry that it's taken a little bit longer than I told you guys, the ones who were getting the, the stuff. I'm sorry it's taken so long. Obviously I've had issues. My hand sanitizer has leaked out of my bag and down my backside. So hopefully it doesn't look like I've peed myself. I don't think it does. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything posted. Thank goodness, because I've been worried about that. I wanted to get it done. I'm going to pop into choice because I need a few bits and then I'll quickly go and get my nails done and then we'll go back and see Baxter. <laughs> Christmas stuff it's unbelievable what a shop so I got some garden steaks I got four of a four pack um, just candy canes to stick in the ground to go with everything else and I also got some um, net lights to put over the bush in the garden and they're solar powered so it'll light up the bush at night and it's cool white they didn't have blue to go with the icicles but i thought cool white would look nice anyway and i also got another pack of cool white solar lights just a hundred um for the other trees so i'll put the the net lights over the bush and i'll put these on the tree so it because it's, it's it's kind of lacking something and i think that's what it's lacking just a few lights in the actual bushes and i bought some green waves because they were a bargain elliot likes them and then i got some milo protein bars for elliot and these sunbites crackers 
um, caramelized onion and balsamic vinegar because Elliot really likes them. They were only a dollar. A dollar? I love that shop so much. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go and get my nails done and then we will head back and say hello to Baxter. See how he's doing. He'll be fine. He's absolutely fine to be left on his own if anyone's wondering. As long as he's created, that's what the um, the vet said. As long as he's created and he's not able to wander, then he's able to be left on his own um, without problem. So yeah, and I felt good about it today because he'd pooped and he'd managed to pee, he'd had a, had a big drink of water and he's had some food. So yeah, we'll go and get the nails sorted and then we'll go back and see him. I've just had a quote for the nails that I wanted, these ones, and they said it would be $110. <laughs> so pretty much I'm like, no, that's all right. I think I'll leave it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and check on Baxter because I couldn't do it for like half an hour anyway. So I'm gonna go back and check on Baxter before I go back out and get my nails done. Cause I don't want to leave him too long. Um, so I'm going to go to the one near me because they're a lot cheaper. I'm not paying $110 for my nails. That's ridiculous. So anyway, I'll catch you guys at home. Hi, baby. How have you been? Hello. Mummy's come back to see you. I think after Mummy gets her nails done, we should walk down to Zarafa's. What do you think? Should we do that? Hey, I think as well we should go to the garden and put these out. What do you think? Right, let's go and sort out these lights and things, eh? <laughs> Come on then. And yes, mommy will get her nails done, but she'll be straight back and then we'll go and walk to Zarafa's. Right, so the net light I would like to put on this bush here. I think that would look good. So I hung the net light over this bush here and hopefully it's going to get enough sunlight today. Now to hang the string lights, these ones, on this bush and see how that is tonight. So that's everything done. I guess what I'll do is maybe show you it tonight when it's all lit up basically because you won't be able to tell it right now that I've put lights in that there. Oh, they're going like flashy. Didn't think they would be flashy. I'll have to change the settings. It's far too dark to show people. Anyway, let's get Baxter back in his little box, bless him. I'll quickly go and get my nails done and then we will go to Zarafa's, me and Baxter.
<laughs> it's so canny. Oh, he's so canny. My little baby, he's just making me more and more proud every single day. So I haven't had a reply from the vet yet to say whether it's all right for him to stay at their facility. But I'm sure they just got busy, so I'll give them a call now, I guess, to find out. I just thought I'd sit in front of my little village. <laughs> I need to turn that starlight on and all the other houses, but anyway, that's for night time. So I got my nails done and I got them exactly how I wanted them. The first, oh, I told you, didn't I? The first nail salon that I went to, they quoted me 110. And I went to the one just up the road from me and they are they undercut everybody and they charged me 80. I know that's still quite expensive. $80 is a lot for nails, but I haven't had them done in months and it's kind of a one-off for Christmas and the cruise. So I bit the bullet and I got them done, but aren't they just beautiful? I need to get some nail, uh, nails on. I need to get some rings on to show them off. They're so pretty. They're very Christmassy, sparkly red with little dots of white. And also when I do my calendar unboxings as well, I like to have nice nails. It just, it makes it a bit more better, a bit more better. My God, my English today. <laughs> it makes it a lot more aesthetic. That's better. What you doing? Are you going? You've been very active today, haven't you? How good is this start? I really, really need to improve my English. How good has today been with regards to Baxter and his recovery? I mean, I took him for a little walk after we had, after I had coffee. Oh, I've left me coffee in the car. Flippin' neck. <laughs> Seriously, my brain, I don't know where it's gone lately. I think it's because of everything that's happened. But my brain has just gone mush. Like, it's literally just mush. Left my coffee in the car. And I can't speak. No, I haven't. It's the. <clears throat> it's literally there. Wow. I think I need help. I really do. I think I need help. I'm going to take my shoes and socks off and I'm going to sit and chill because bloody hell. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Took him for a little walk after coffee and he was very, very wobbly. Um, he seems very itchy right now. He's itching his face. You got an itchy face? Are you okay? You were very, very wobbly on the way back from Zarafa's, weren't you? We only walked for like two yards, probably, <laughs> from the car. I drove uh, most of the way and then we walked in the pram and then he walked a little bit. But yeah, he was quite wobbly. So I think it's going to take a little bit of time for him to fully be able to walk. I'm sorry, it's gone really, really dark. What is with the light? Anyway, it's going to take a little bit of time, um, but I'm sure he will get there. <sighs> and we just need to get on this cruise and chill. Chill. We just need to... We said as soon as we step onto this cruise, we're just going to go... Oh, and chill. Because it's just been full on. Really full on. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. I hope I've got enough content. Can't even remember what I filmed because, like I said, my brain is mush. Um, so, yeah, the next video you will see will be a zing. What's new in zing? It's just a very quick video. Um, then the one after that will be my. No, you'll have already seen that. Oh my goodness, see my brain? So, you've already seen zing. <laughs> You've already seen the Christmas village getting built. And then the one after that will be this vlog. So after that, I don't know. It'll probably be the cruise, a cruise video or something along those lines. I don't bloody know anymore. I just don't know anymore. <laughs> Guaranteed I'll be still uploading three times a week though. Um, as much as I can anyway. Um, the calendar unboxings, obviously, they'll be like every other day anyway, so. Anyway, I'm going to sign out. I'll let you go. I'll stop yammering on. 
thank you so much again for all the love and support about Baxter. It's so gratefully received and we we appreciate it so much. I hope you I know you appreciate the the um the feedback. The updates. <laughs> I know you guys uh, appreciate that. Oh my God, I'm gonna go because I can't even speak anymore. I'm gonna take my gorgeous nails and I'm gonna go and chill. Okay, love you for now. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>